What's poppin' is C-Dub the Youngblood. You're now watching Fabby Tamin TV. Let's go. <laughs> like no cap, man. I feel your pain, blood. What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. He said he rap better than me. Oh, yeah. I said I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to put a bell in my truck. She said she want to Growing up in Kansas City. Uh, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to say, you know, when you're young, the kids get, uh, the, the police get the kids baseball cards, you know, so everything cool in your neighborhood. But as you get older, you know, shit change. You know, it's a little more rougher, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, you know, overall, you know, KC was lovely for me. Yeah. As far as getting into music, I always loved music, you know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, I was a fan of, you know, Michael Jackson. And, and you know, listening to uh, my uh, step pops used to listen to Tupac, so you know I used to fuck with a lot of that shit. But uh, you know, as I got older, to you know actually create music, you know what I'm saying? I, I used to watch people. Uh, people I looked up to was artists, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of a thing that was in my brain, like you know, I kind of want to be like them. So you know, I'm gonna eventually start fucking with the music. So I kind of knew early on, but it really wasn't, you know, it wasn't a goal or nothing. You know, this shit really kind of like just basically found me. KC, in my opinion, we got one of the most legendary underground scenes ever. If you ain't really familiar with it, uh, you, you can definitely, you know, investigate it. A lot of people, you know, we might have not went mainstream, but we had a, a big impact as far as the underground game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, artists can really thrive in our city. You know what I'm saying? You could really just be popping in KC and have a, you know, a, a low-key successful career, you know what I'm saying? It probably ain't where people want it to be, but you can really just, you know, do your thing in KC, and you ain't gonna be too mad at yourself if you don't go nowhere else outside of that, because we got a strong underground movement. My musical style is really just, I don't know. I would call it the Robin Crew style, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm real aggressive as far as, you know, the content, you know. I'm real big on like, you know, self-confidence and, uh, you know, believing in yourself and things like that. So, you know, I, I really talk my shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how I describe it. You know, I'll be talking my shit, period. The significance is, you know, it, it really stick out to people, you know, when, when you, uh, you know, when a nigga see you got a, dropping an album, it's called I Dump My Baby Mama, you know what I'm saying? You know, he can kind of feel that, or, uh, I'm trying to think, or if uh, one of my most popular, you know, successful albums was God Don't Listen to Fake Niggas, you know what I'm saying? So if you kind of feel that same way, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, it kind of stick out to you. And I really start doing that because I start running out of album titles, you know what I'm saying? I got 99 projects as of today. Uh, and, you, and you can imagine, I, I was doing like In the Kitchen, this banging music, blah, blah, blah. And then I would do volume one, volume two, and that's and start getting old. So I started, you know what? I'm gonna do some shit like uh, a fake nigga made it before I did, or uh, could have bought some YouTube views instead of bought a brick, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I just started naming my shit wild. And then same for the song titles. Fabutainment TV, an innovative platform for artists and entrepreneurs to showcase their talents to the world. Fabutainment TV is available on Roku, Android, and Amazon Fire Stick internet and digital streaming platforms. Fabutainment TV now features celebrity interviews, music, fashion, and other popular programmed content. Content creators. Consider Fabutainment TV for your music videos, live performances, short and full length feature films. Advertisers, bring your infomercials, 30 second commercial slots, and corporate sponsorships to promote your products or services on Fabutainment TV. Fabutainment Media provides TV production, media coverage, photography, and videography services at affordable rates. For more information, email us at info at fabutainment.com because it's not just entertainment, it's fabutainment.
I go, I do Facebook Live, right? Like whenever I'm just like, I feel like vibing with the people that fuck with me. I tap in with them through Facebook Live and I interact with them that way. Um, when I was doing that on Facebook Live, a lot of people would say, "Hey, Tech Nine's in the building," because I, I don't know, I don't know if he was coming or did they just seen him and who's watching with him. Uh, but I was unaware he was even watching. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? But one day, uh, I was going brazy on my live. I got this troll, his name Booger. You know what I'm saying? I was, uh, I was going back and forth with this nigga. And it was like, it was hilarious. Like you had to, he, uh, that day he commented on the live like 20 times. I'm talking about Tech Nine. He had like 20 comments on the live. And then to the point where he joined the live himself, you know what I'm saying, to let me know. Uh, he been fucking with my shit, you know, he get a kick out of it, and then I, uh, that gave me the opportunity to let him know, like, hey, you know, I've been on your bumper, what's poppin', man? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that shit was hella dope. Big Core, uh, Big Core have been, um, into some, into some shit with, in, in our KC rap scene, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, people started, he, he, I guess, you know, he having little situations with people, and then you got weirdos hating and, and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And whenever you see too many people hating on somebody, you got to think, like, hey, man, what this nigga got going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, because don't nobody pay attention to the losers, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody even care what you do. You could, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, no, what's up with this nigga court? So I, uh, I tapped into his movement, you know what I'm saying? I seen what he had going. I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we talk shit back and forth on the internet, on some internet shit. Um, and then one time he actually flew out to Phoenix and he said, hey nigga, uh, pull up on me. Let's chop it up. You know what I'm saying? What's up, and, uh, at that point, me and him got to know each other. Uh, he got to know what, what I was on musically. I got to uh, know what he was on as far as his brand and everything. And then uh, we built from there for real. Like, so we ended up linking up a couple more times after that. The big court, the most hated nigga in the city. And then I started fucking with this nigga court. They don't like me either. So that, that's what it is. Like, it's his fault for real. I ain't gonna cap with you. They love me. Before this nigga, they love me, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just weird, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, done, I done said this a couple times, boy, that nigga's the truth, man, you know what I'm saying? And I, uh, you know, shout out Big Core for the alley-oop on that. Uh, he really put me in the studio with the nigga, and, uh, you know, like, I, all I say is, bro, I see why he Grammy nominated, you know what I'm saying? I, I see why, you know, Drake would take him, you know what I'm saying? Go grab him, like, hey man, come to my studio, I need you, you know what I'm saying? I see why, you know, when I got to working with him, like, man, yeah, he wanted the illness doing it, so, yeah, shout out Black Amount. Fabutainment TV, an innovative platform for artists and entrepreneurs to showcase their talents to the world. Fabutainment TV is available on Roku, Android, and Amazon Fire Stick internet and digital streaming platforms. Fabutainment TV now features celebrity interviews, music, fashion, and other popular programmed content. Content creators. Consider Fabutainment TV for your music videos, live performances, short and full-length feature films. Advertisers, bring your infomercials, 30-second commercial slots, and corporate sponsorships to promote your products or services on Fabutainment TV. Fabutainment Media provides TV production, media coverage, photography, and videography services at affordable rates. For more information, email us at info at fabutainment.com because it's not just entertainment, it's fabutainment. Man, I'm just, 
I just really turned up my work ethic a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? And I, I just started going crazy with the music. Um, you know, the people that was fucking with me, I, I noticed like, you know, I drop a mixtape one month, two months later, I drop another one. They're like, oh, we loving this, man. Keep giving it to us. So, you know, I was getting real good feedback. So I just put my foot on the gas. And uh, by the time I got to like 50 albums, I'm like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of. I'm kind of doing something here, so from that point on, it was just my initiative to, to go, you know, to the max. A uh, hundred really wasn't a goal. Um, I'm going to do 200 and then retire, you know what I'm saying? But the, the hundred is kind of like the stamp. Uh, a lot of my situations are changing, you know, and it just so happened it's around me when I drop my hundredth album, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, you know, from the outside looking in, you're like, man, you did all this work and it's just now. But shit, you know, some people got to shoot more, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's kind of the album. It's a, it's a turning point in my career, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's really just like a stamp. Like, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm finna do. This is what I'm on. You know, niggas been, you know, niggas been getting money and fucking it off for a long time. So, uh, you know, me and my homies, we really kind of like started to get more of a business mind about life here. Um, so, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of people call it the scam demon, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to talk about what niggas been doing. I just took it upon myself, you know what I'm saying, to take my bag, you know what I'm saying, and start me a, uh, you know, a studio. It really was like a studio slash storefront where I could sell my apparel. Um, so basically, I just, I bought the building. You know what I'm saying? I opened up the studio because a lot of people say they want to, you know, record like me. They want to, uh, they want to, you know, record in my environment. So I just made one. And then as far as the uh, the store for, uh, you know, we just do whatever the fuck we want with that motherfucker. So, you know, uh, it's been real dope. It's a real experience as far as uh, learning the business and uh, learning how to run some shit because it really ain't as easy as you would think. So. Uh, this shit been hella dope for me so far. So as far as the Robin crew, that's just my uh, that's my brand I'm pushing. You know what I'm saying? We uh, we we selling a lot of apparel right now. Right now I got the jumpsuits going, the Robin Crew 2.0 jumpsuits. Um, you know I started off selling shirts. I got hoodies. Um, a lot of people do ask me what does the Robin Crew mean? Um, basically, um, and for me, I was in the music game and. I I felt like I wasn't getting the recognition that I needed. So, you know, I felt like, you know, I, I'm not going to wait on nobody to give it to me. I'm going to really just go take it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, whenever you doing the action of taking something, it's robbery. So, you know, that's kind of what they stand for. If, if you're doing something in life and you feel like you ain't getting the recognition you need, or if, say if you like, you know, at a job and you feel like, you working your ass off and ain't gonna get a promotion you want. Sometimes you gotta really take it into your own uh, own hands to really make that happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's really the whole meaning behind the Robin Crew. You know, we we taking what we want. We ain't gonna wait for nobody to give it to us. So that's what that is. Uh, my future prayers is uh, to really just ex expand my uh, my following, my fan base, just like internationally. You know what I'm saying? Like all across the nation. And then all in the mother countries, you know what I'm saying? As far as um, artists I want to work with, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, Since I've been in Atlanta, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting this, this whole energy and people keep bringing up, you know, Gucci, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that he got more albums than me, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 100 albums ain't nothing goo. I've got 105. Even though I'm a past that nigga, but I feel like, you know, I could do some shit with goo for real, huh? That's just that Atlanta right now. I've been here for a couple of days, so I'm like, well, what a nigga Gucci at? You know what I'm saying? I don't even fuck with a nigga like that. So, you know, I do something with Guwap. Atlanta been good to me, man. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I've been getting this vibe while I'm out here. Um, you know, somebody tell Guwap, man, I'm coming for him. I know we got 105. Um, pretty probably do a few more. You know, it was a cool little inspiration. But, uh, you know, 2, 2K21, I'm passing you. You know what I'm saying? So, so get ready to see them posts everywhere. Like, you know, see Dub the Young Blood pass Gucci Mane on most albums, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, you know, I'm down to get busy with you, too. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it.